Homelands is seeking beneficiary input on what to do with an 80-acre piece of land at Emma Beach. Yeah, our Casey Lund is live this morning with more on this. Hey, Casey. Hey, good morning, guys. This is the old Pacific Tsunami Warning Center here in EVA, that 80-acre parcel of land that you're talking about. Acquiring it would use up a $10 million of a $16.9 million credit that the Hawaiian Homelands Trust has with the federal government. First this morning, though, we're taking a closer look at the waitlist for housing through the DHHL. A beneficiary study was released last month showing just how long people are waiting and why. We'll dig into why in just a moment, but first, here are some of the numbers. 21% of beneficiaries have spent more than 30 years on a list. 19% 21 to 30 years, and 11% have been waiting 16 to 20 years. That means more than half have been waiting for more than 15 years. Now, most of the people on the list are 55 and older. They make up more than 69%. 49% turned down an award more than once. 27% turned down an award once, and 24% have never turned down an award from DHHL. If they're on the wait list, that does not mean that they were never offered housing. In fact, at least 49% say they've turned down an offer more than once, but DHHL officials say that number could be higher because survey respondents might have been confused about understanding when they've been offered an award. Here are some of the reasons they said for declining offers. Keep in mind that more than one choice was allowed, and that's why the total is above 100%. 51% didn't like the location. 35% say they were simply not ready. 25% say they didn't have enough money for the down payment. 22% were worried they would need to find a new job. 15% said their income was too low to qualify for the mortgage for that property. 11% said the housing prices were too high. 9% said they would have to relocate and find another job. 8% said they didn't like the unit that was offered. A DHHL spokesperson said that one of the challenges they face rewarding locations is that they can only build where they have the land. Plus, a lot of people are unwilling to move. Say, if you live in Kaneohe, uh, moving to Nanakuli might be a problem because you have roots on the windward side. He also points out that beneficiaries would not have to move islands. They can get on the wait list and wait for the island of their choice. So we're going to have a lot of discussions. I know that was a lot of numbers to throw at you. We'll be speaking with the chair, the deputy chair from DHHL this morning about this piece of land and a lot of other really important topics. Stick with us throughout the morning here on Sunrise.